Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last class, we learned about absorption of overheads, means allotment of overheads to the cost unit, right? So in that, we have discussed three methods of absorption of overheads. They are production unit, percentage on direct wages and percentage on direct material cost. Today, we are going to continue this topic only in that we, we are going to discuss remaining three methods. They are percentage on prime cost, direct labor hours and machine hour rate. So, let's discuss. So, in that fourth one is percentage on prime cost. Here, overheads are charged based on prime cost. Prime cost, it means what? Direct materials plus direct labor plus direct expenses. That is what prime cost, right? So, let's see the formula. In that absorption rate equals to total overheads divided by total prime cost into 100. And overhead for job, that is percentage rate into job's prime cost, right? So, so let's see the example. Total factory overheads rupees 40,000. And direct materials 50,000. Direct labor 30,000. Jobs direct materials 4,000. And jobs direct labor rupee, rupees 2,000. Right. Now rupees 2,000. No, now step 1. Step 1 what? That is calculation of overhead rate. So overhead rate. Total overheads divided by here total prime cost into 100 total overhead how much that is 40,000 and prime cost it is the total of direct material direct labor and direct expenses here direct material and labor is there but direct expense is not there so direct material plus direct labor how much 80,000 into 100 so we will get overhead rate that is 50 percentage now absorb overhead for the job how much overhead need we need to absorb for the job? That is 50% of 6,000. Means here jobs direct material 4,000 and direct labor 2,000. 4,000 plus 2,000 that is rupees 6,000. That is equals to rupees 3,000 that is overhead for job. Or we can here also we can directly calculate the absorb overhead for the job. How much? How? That is total overheads divided by total prime cost into prime cost of the job. See, overhead, total overhead how much? 40,000. Prime cost, prime cost 80,000. And jobs, prime cost of the job, how much? 6,000. So, see, 3,000, right? So, we can directly calculate. So, this is about percentage on prime cost. In production unit, the base is total number of units produced and percentage on direct wages. Here the base is direct wages and in percentage on direct material cost. Here the base is percentage of direct material cost and in percentage on prime cost. Here the overheads are charged based on prime cost, right? This is about percentage on prime cost. Now, fifth method is direct labor hour rate. Direct labor hour rate. Here, overheads are calculated using labor hours. Right? Formula is absorption rate equals to total overheads divided by total labor hours. And overhead for job rate into jobs labor hours. These formulas very easy to remember. Right? And so for example, total factory overheads 90,000. Total direct labor hours 30,000 hours. So, labor hour rate how much? Total overheads how much? 9,000 and total labor hours 30,000 hours. Means rupees 3 per hour. That is our labor hour rate. Now, we need to calculate overhead absorbed for the job. That is 500. Now, for a job that 500 hours. That is 500 hours into absorbed rate. That is rupees 3 per hour. So, overhead, absor overhead absorbed for the job that is rupees 1,500. Clear? So, these methods are for in this, um, the formulas are also very easy and the solution. If we know the formulas, it's very easy to solve the problems, right? So, direct labor hours rate, that is our fifth method. Now, sixth method is machine hour rate. Machine hour rate. Here, factory overheads are absorbed based on the machine hours used for a job. Used on the machine hour 
that is based on machine hours used for a job this machine hour rate is there right this is very useful in the industries where machine work is more than the humans they utilize machines more than the humans in that industry this machine hour rate is very useful clear now let's see the formula overhead rate per machine hour total overheads divided by total machine hours for all method first we need to write down total overheads after that total machine hours and if percentage on direct wages means total direct wages direct material cost you need to write down the direct material cost and overhead for the job that also very easy rate into job machine hours right now let's see the example total factory overheads rupees 120000 and total machine hours 40000 hours so machine hour rate 120000 divided by 40000 hours so rupees 3 per machine hour that is our machine hour rate now if a job uses 600 machine hours then overhead absorbed for the job 600 machine hours into rupees 3 per machine hour equals to rupees 1800 that is our overhead absorbed for the job here also we can directly calculate otherwise we have to first we need to calculate the uh, machine hour rate after that we need to calculate the overhead overhead absorbed clear here also we can directly calculate see total overheads how much 120 divided by a total machine hours 40000 into 600 job uses 600 machine hours right into 600 see 1800 that is our overhead absorbed clear so here we have finished absorption of overheads there are mainly six methods of in absorption of overheads they are production unit percentage on direct wages percentage on direct material cost percentage on prime cost direct labor hours and machine hour rate clear so i hope this concept is clear to you all if not please leave a comment thank you